you are one of the greatest fighters of all time. You know, titles in four weight classes, everything that you did. Mike has been looking like a killer in these videos that he's been putting up. What do you say to the people who are already counting you, Roy Jones Jr., out of this fight? I mean, they may, I mean, I understand because Mike, well, not only does he look like a killer, Mike is a killer. You feel me? But the whole thing about it is, what they got to realize is, Mike is a killer. Mike's like a cheater. Mike's the kind of killer that got to go kill quick. If you don't kill quick, he got problems on his hands. You understand me? So if Mike can't come out and kill quick, would he fight one of the smartest, savviest guys to ever do, do the thing? If he don't kill quick, he in trouble. So if you don't kill, if you don't kill right away, what's he gonna do? Cause don't think I ain't seen the weed smoking videos. Don't think I ain't seen all of it. I know what's going on. So it's like I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna go out there and try to collide with him in the first round and just you know take him out like I'm a fool. I know he he, he he good early. He's strong early. He's still a strong lion. But he's got cheetah mentality. A cheetah mentality means I gotta get it quick. If I don't get it quick, that cheat out of prep. If you don't get it quick. <laughs> so that's the plan. You wait out that initial cheetah burst, and then when he's tired, you come in for the kill. Now, now you got to go to work. Now you may not kill, but see, now you got to go to work. So once you like Andy told you off over, let me see you box. When we get that point, now we got now the, now the bell rings. Now the clock come on. Now we on the clock. Now. Mike's been out of the game for 15 years. You have been active. You know, you've won your last, what, four or five fights in a row. You last fought 2018. So you've been much more active, Roy. Uh, how good a shape yeah. are you in right now? I'm in pretty good shape right now. But uh, the good thing about Mike, the good thing about Mike, you can't take that for granted because he's like George Foreman. George Foreman set out for like a decade and got his body back together. Yeah. And that makes them a lot better. I, I wish I could have said this kid got my body back there, but I didn't. But because I've been still going, it's not as hard to get back into it. Which is why I'm thinking that that time thing, that cheater thing, I'm thinking about, that's where that's going to come into play. It because I haven't been out as long, so I know what it feels like to go eight rounds. You don't forget, y'all must have forgot. You hear me? So, <laughs> <laughs> um, how excited are you for this, Roy? Like, this is already the you know you got you just announced this thing. It's already, the whole sports world is talking about this. It's the biggest event all in the world over, right now. All over, all over. Let me just say this much. First, I want to clear on the fact that a lot of people say, and it was rumored out that I turned down 40 million to fight Mike when I was in with champ. No way. I said the only person I would fight when I won in with Tyler as a heavyweight again would have been Mike Tyson. Or I was going back to light heavyweight. Mike said he didn't want to fight at the time. I went back to light heavyweight. It has nothing to do with me turning down the court. I know where in the hill I was turning down $40 million to fight Mike Tyson, nobody else Tyson. Tyson Fury, Jane Tyson, Chicken Tyson, whoever. You understand me? For $40 million, they'd have got it when I was a heavyweight champ. I would have took a way less money to fight Ruiz. Why would I not take $40 million to fight another champ or right. another heavyweight? I mean, that'd been crazy. You feel me? So that never happened. So let me clear it up, too. But yeah, man, um, so I'm just looking forward to it. I'm very excited. I'm definitely looking forward to it.